OK, I've got the triad slide running now. Um, I thought I'd run a few benchmarks, but first I was just going to show you this. Some people might have already seen it. Um, actually, Ty Tree came across it. Um, it's the new um, EVGA utility, which allows you to tweak the voltages. Um, we were actually only talking about something like this the other day, and wondering why no one's really doing it yet. And now what pops up yesterday on EVGA forums is the um, new voltage tuner. Um, it's not out yet, it says coming soon, um, only works with EVGA cards and only on the GTX 260, the 280 and the 295, not on the 260 55 nanometer and not on the 285 55 nanometer. Um, hopefully they will um, add support for those cards maybe at a later date or maybe even by the time it's released. Um, it's quite interesting to see the the max clock that they managed to um, reach by overclocking the well by upping the voltage. Standard voltage is one zero three eight. Um, the max clock they achieved was six eighty four and fourteen seventy six shader. With increasing the voltage to one two six three, and their max clock is seven hundred and eighty three megahertz on the core and sixteen ninety two shader. Now that is a absolutely crazy overclock and basically now it, it gives people the chance to up the voltage on their um, graphics cards without having to do some crazy volt mod um, so yeah that's actually quite a nice feature and if it does end up supporting the 285 I will sell the BFG version just to get hold of this tool it will save volt mod in anything anyway um, ok get rid of that and I will run um, first of all I'm going to run the crisis benchmark two loops 1680 by 1050 um, no AA two loops ambush DirectX 10 enthusiast I'm starting to use Ambush because it's the um, it's the most intense of the um, the benchmarks for Warhead. Everyone seems to use Avalanche, but that's just that's the, um, you get a higher frame rate on Avalanche. This is the the hardest one to run. Clock speeds I'm running are 7:13 on the core and 14:58 on the memory, or 2,916 which is a, a really nice overclock. Especially considering the 280s would only hit 2,550. With Trisolar, you definitely need to be overclocking your CPU. Um, I ran benchmarks last night um, on Avalanche, and I got 57 frames average on two cards at the same settings. And I ran the same again today, but with three cards, but with the processor at stock speed, and got 54 frames a second. So without overclocking the processor you've got a huge bottleneck um, now I've overclocked the processor to 4.2 gigahertz and there we go that's what you get minimum 38 maximum 100.58 average 73.62
and I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to set up the um, Far Cry 2 benchmark. Okay, I've got the um, Far Cry benchmark tool open. Um, I'll confirm the settings at the end. I'm running 1920 by 1080, 8 times AA, DirectX 10, ultra high quality, and I'm going to run ranch small, only two loops, just for time saving. For a start, the um, frame rate maxed out at about 140 something, and again another 140. High 90s to 100. Like now, 118 frames, 122 down to 110. This game's maxed out. Still. The lowest so far was 85, I think I've just seen then. Still high 90s, low 100. Now towards the end, high like 130. GPU temps, 58, 54 and 57. Nice and cool. <coughs> Still 718 is the max core clock that I was able to achieve. Any more than that, blue screens. That's where that voltage core would come nice and, and would definitely come in handy. Same as the last loop, high 90s and low 100s. Okay, let's see what we've got. Average frame rate 110 and a half seconds. Max frame rate 150.34. Minimum frame rate 87.34. This game absolutely maxed out. I'm just going through the settings so people know that I'm not trying to pull a fast one. 1920 by 1080. That takes 10. I've daily aging eight times. Overall quality ultra high. Okay, 3D Mark Vantage score, um, 35,167, 3YSLI.